statement about strong acid is correct. Okay, so strong acid, remember, yeah, they must dissociate completely. Okay, so they dissociate completely to form, to give hydrogen plus ion, right? So let's look at this part. Okay, they have high concern. <laughs> H plus, you think I'm done? Okay, so yes, this is correct. Completely ionized is correct. Ha ha ha. But uh, sure, what if they have a pH value of 2? Are they still considered strong? Yes, they are considered strong. You are right. Baby, for example, HCl, your stomach acid in your stomach uh, is pH 2. It's still considered strong. Then how come 2 is correct? They have a pH of value of 1. They could uh, have a pH value of 1. So it's wrong. Okay, let me ask you a question. pH 1, is it strong acid? Uh, not bad. Lah. Quite strong. Quite strong. Lah. Yeah, yes. Sir. pH 1, strong acid. What do you mean? <laughs> pH1 strong acid. Uh. That's it. Uh, about strong acid is correct. pH1 is strong acid, right? Done. Yeah. So, what do you mean? 2 is also a strong acid. 3 is not. Okay. 1 is. But the but the best definition uh, is dissociate or ionize completely to form H+. Okay. This is the best definition. Okay. If you are taking air level, okay, we don't take this statement right. Okay, let's say if you're in air level, I wouldn't accept this statement. But right now in IG, yes, this statement can be accepted or else there's no answer, baby. Okay. Okay, next. Some property of group 4 element. Okay, silicon. So remember, yeah, this silicon is a giant. What do you mean by giant? Okay, giant, they are very strong. When they are very strong, they have high mounting and boiling point, right? Okay, silicon. Let's look at this part. The property of silicon. So, density. Oh my god, this is way too high. Uh. My god, this is so crazily high. This is wrong. This because this is way too high. Okay, next. What about 6.22920? 6.22920. Okay, as you go down, do you see a trend? Okay, it slowly increases, right? Do you go, you go down, you see a trend decreases slowly, right? Okay, so any value of 1997 is wrong because it's smaller. This one is okay. I mean, this one this one is okay. 32 is also okay. Density, do you see that this is way too high? So this is out. So the answer is A. Yes, correct. Silicon, diamond, and graphite. In your syllabus, huh? just these three. Silicon, diamond, graphite are giant. They are super strong. Okay, so they have strong covalent bond at the same time they have high mounting and boiling point okay sexy yeah okay so let's move on 24 okay beryllium does not react with cold water okay why is it so because beryllium is not very reactive okay it's not very reactive okay it reacts with hcl but cannot be extracted by using carbon okay by using carbon okay so what happened is that okay so it can it reacts with HCl. Okay, and it cannot be extracted using carbon. Where is beryllium placed in reactivity series? Okay, first, you look at magnesium here. Yeah? Magnesium is very reactive, you know. So beryllium is less reactive, right? So beryllium should be somewhere here. Okay, so B A is correct. Okay, nice. It reacts with HCl. Metal will always matter can react with HCl, right? Okay, next. Cannot be extracted from its ore using carbon. Okay, so by the way, yeah, carbon is somewhere here, yeah. Okay, so if carbon is somewhere here, you must have it higher than carbon, right? So the answer is A. Okay, because it can't be placed lower than carbon. Okay, they say cannot be extracted using carbon, so carbon can't reduce it. Okay, can I please write it down? Sorry, uh, guys. I'm going to have my dinner while teaching. I'm a bit hungry. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay, let's continue. Let's look at 25. Cryolite. Okay, this cryolite is very popular. Huh? This is in aluminium or bauxite extraction. Which is your AL two O three? Yeah, uh, catalyst not really. So what it does, it has two. It has two purpose. One is to reduce the melting point of your bauxite. Second is to improve the electrical conductivity. 
as a solvent for as a solvent yes it can be because it dissolve it right but yes sexy stop bro no okay reduce aluminium but doesn't it reduce its melting point reduce its melting point but how how does it reduce its melting point because it dissolve in it when it dissolve the melting point drop example let's look at sodium let's look at sodium chloride salt you look at salt uh, NaCl at first right let's say if you want to melt this salt uh, crazy you try to melt the salt you just get the table salt try to melt it it's so crazily high but what happened if you throw it into water it dissolves straight okay so does it does it does it decrease the boiling point yes it does it does dissolve the melting point straight away when you throw it to salt you will throw it to water 25 degree room temperature already dissolved so can conduct electricity already so the same thing yes it is basically acting as a solvent. Sexy.